So I've been tripping over the truth this week, and that's one of my favorite phrases to use because it's really when you come in with a set of assumptions about something and then something else happens and rocks your world and totally changes the way that you think and view that situation. My mom's dog, Cookie, she's sitting right here. Um, I don't know, you wanna see? Cookie's just like, she's always hanging out. She's always right near me. She doesn't like to go very far. Anyway, my mom's dog, Cookie, she, oddly enough, has taught me so much about how to be a better caregiver. That's really what my book is about. It's about learning from an animal without even coaching me verbally how she's taught me to be patient and she's taught me to be relentless in my pursuit to show and give love for my mom. Anyway, so I'm working on this chapter called Relentless Love and it's all about how the way that I view love from my mom, you know, my mom who has frontal temporal dementia and early onset Alzheimer's. So the way that I viewed love before she was diagnosed has changed. You know, before she showed me love in ways that were very obvious, like she would tell me that she loved me or she would do sweet little things for me, like, you know, bring me a dinner that she made the night before and the leftovers because she wanted me to taste it and share it with her. Um, or she would ask me questions about, you know, how are you? How was your day at work? This was before the diagnosis. Now that the diagnosis has happened and now that she's sort of spiraled into the place that she's at, Love looks different and it's taken me a long time to realize that. I think I spent a lot of time feeling kind of resentful and bitter, um, maybe sad and even like a little bit angry that I wasn't getting the same love from my mom even though I was you know, putting in the hours of taking care of her. I have had to really rethink my definition of love and the way that it looks in my household in this moment. So for me, you know, love is no longer expecting at night when I tell her I love you, I can't expect her to say that back because it's probably not gonna happen. Instead, I have to see love in different ways. So love can be something really super small, like every night after she eats her buttered noodles, I ask her to stand with me at the kitchen island and do 25 calf raises. You know, there's some studies out there about circulation and I thought, well, why not? It can't hurt to try it. So every night she will, even though I know she doesn't want to, she will relent and she will stand with me and do those 25 calf raises with me. I had to really rethink how those little acts of love what they look like and start to look for them. How Cookie shows little love rituals every day when she gets into her room and climbs on her bed and wants to be right there with her and how I am working every day to show my mom little love rituals. So I hope you guys enjoy the blog post. It is on my Facebook fan page at Caregivers Are Heroes. I also post it on my website, of course, caregiversconnect.com. Again, the book, is in the works. This is actually probably chapter four. I started on chapter four. I don't know why, I just, it felt right. And so it is called Relentless Love. Again, if you sign up for my email list through my website, I'm just sharing it with the world because it feels right. If I can, you know, maybe inspire empathy and compassion and change the mindset, just give that darn book away. Who cares, right? Just share it with the world. So I would be honored and blessed if you signed up for my email email list so that you can read my chapter and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.